Hi y'all. Welcome to the Juice with Jana. Don't mind my hair. I'm going to have my hoodie on anyway. Um, I got some downloads I need to give y'all. Um, first, I hope everybody's doing great. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Um, first thing, um, I... Something about the emergency broadcast system being activated sometime here before the end of the month is my feeling, my intuitive feeling from it. Um, um, along with the emergency broadcast service, there will be, I'm sure, I heard something about martial law, so that's like a, a house arrest of military makes you stay in your house, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, you have to Google it if you want to know more. Um, I'm just touching bases with the downloads I got. Um, there's going to be a lot of, like, air traffic. Like, airplanes and helicopters and stuff during the time that all this is going on. As well as there will be no internet. I don't believe so anyway. I don't know. I didn't hear no internet. But I'm just assuming the emergency broadcast system is effective and activated then... I mean, how often does the emergency broadcast system activate other than just a test? Hmm? It don't. So, anyway, emergency broadcast system. Um, like, martial law, um, heavy air traffic, and, and I believe all this is because of the next download, which is, I got with some high level authority figures and politicians are about to go to jail for the rest of their life go to prison for the rest of their life or get the death sentence those are their only two choices that's how bad their crimes have been against us humanity crimes against children a lot of innocent children Um, I also heard something about a biblical wealth transfer, like how things can go from darkness to light, it's going to be going, the money that's in, people that have the money in their hands right now, it's going down to the people who it really belongs to. And the difference between them having it and the people it belongs to having it is the people that it really belongs to are the type of people that want to help. We want to end poverty. We want to end hunger. We want to we want to revamp the schools to where our kids aren't taught to be prisoners. <clears throat> I mean, they ride the bus, get bus to school just like they get bus to prison. They got to walk in a single file line, not say nothing, and. No, 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 no. In kindergarten, they start you off using a mat on the floor to sleep, just like in jail. <laughs> I mean, now there's fin gates and iron fences all the way around them and stuff, and it's just, it's gotten way, way, way out of control, the control they have over us and our children, and, and the control they have over making us not remember who we are and what we're capable of and how much power we really do hold. We are the wealth of this nation. Us. Us. We're the wealth. We're the wealth. And they've been having... Tipping the friggin' doorman a thousand bucks for opening the elevator door for them on their way to breakfast. You know what I mean? It's nothing to them. Because it's not their money. It's ours. It's ours. And we're about to get it back. We're about to get it back. All your taxes you paid in. Your birth certificate's worth money. Because it's on bond paper. Your social security card's on bond paper. Marriage licenses are bonds. Every time you get a traffic ticket, it's a bond. I mean, it's endless amount of things that are bonds. And those are all getting ready to be liquidated, I believe. I believe Jasara Nasara is about to take effect after these people 
are arrested, the ones that were holding it off, because every time they want to roll out Jasara and Asara, they, they create another bombing, period. Pentagon, Twin Towers, Murrow Building. It, it was all to distract and, and, and take away from Nasara, Jasara coming out. So nothing can stop it now. Nothing can stop it. <laughs> and that's amazing. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this. And, and you guys will too. Once, once the shock of the, once the shock hits the world and people have had a little time for it to sink in and stuff, you know, things will start to look better. Um, people's kids ain't going to go missing as much. Our kids are going to be with us for a long time. There's not going to be so many missing kids anymore. A lot of these people going down are, are the cause of all these missing kids. Point blank period. So if you've had a kid come up missing in the last 60 years, I'd almost bet. I'd almost bet money on it. Because you know, there might be a few sex offender pedophiles around just scattered out here and there everywhere but I'm gonna tell you what in Hollywood and the government and the high up judges and authority figures and and the elite and the music industry and and, and tarot community not all the tarot community but uh there's some, <laughs> well, you, you notice there's a lot of readers disappearing now. And there's going to be a few more disappear because I know there's still a few more on there that are just lying their motherfucking ass off. Um, I don't even feel comfortable doing cards. And, and I do receive downloads from Spirit. But I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing cards. I'm having a hard enough time being comfortable putting my voice, let alone my face or anything else on this camera. Um, I'm sure it'll get easier, but... Um, for now, this is what y'all get. <laughs> um, let's see, there was something else. Uh, wealth transfer. Um, some kind of new uh, form of communication. A heightened security and a heightened security way form of communication. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's talking about. I don't know. That's just what I heard. And then I heard... Um, um, what was the other one? Um... The air traffic in the sky. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember what the other one was. If I think about it before I get off here, I'll, I'll let you know. But you guys just be be gentle with... If you know and you've known for a little while or even years that some of this is about to happen, then you're a little bit or a lot more prepared than the 80, 85, 90% that totally oblivious. Because the majority of the population, either they might have heard one or two people like me or somebody else saying something about it. They might have, but uh, the majority blew it off like it was fiction or just didn't even hear it because they didn't want to. <laughs> or they've never heard it from anybody before because they're around a bunch of sleep people. So, I'm telling you, it's going to... Uh, going to drop a few lot it's going to drop a majority of the population to their knees because it's going to totally 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 be unfathomable to some people to the point that they lose their fucking minds because they don't want to believe it and it be truth because there's mega evidence mega evidence they've been collecting evidence for years decades decades and there's there's two or three very special men that the whole entire face of humanity needs to send virtual hugs kisses love protection because I'm telling you I know if I'm just I, I'm a little nobody that whistleblowed on you youtube and and facebook you know yeah they shut my whole facebook 
account down. I still haven't been able to get back into that Facebook. Lost all my pictures. I had like years and years of 4,000 pictures on it. And I can't get into it at all. And they just keep giving me a bullshit run around. Same way with my IM account and my ViewBug account. So I know I'm probably making money on all the pictures that I have on those sites. And they've got me locked completely out of those too. As well as I'm still waiting on my 2020 taxes and my last stimulus. I mean, when you spread truth about these pedophile, sick, disgusting, demonic things, they retaliate. And you become a targeted individual. You get put on domestic terrorism watch lists. You get put on, well, I think there's like 13 of them in a... I think I'm on all of them. <laughs> and I'd never heard a fly. <laughs> I might tell the truth on a motherfucker, but I'd never heard a fly. Might hurt your feelings, but I ain't gonna physically hurt you. Now, I have kicked some ass back in my teenage years, in my 20s. I beat a few bitches up. Yeah, but they deserved it. <laughs> they deserved it. My forehead's so wrinkly. Anyway... This old lady is going to get off here. Um, just comfort people if you already know what's going on. You know, take time to ground yourself a little better so you can give some grounding to some people that are not going to be able to handle what's about to happen. I, I truly do believe thousands and thousands of people will be traumatized so bad that they end up mentally put up, put away. Because motherfuckers are not going to expect who these people are that are about to be arrested. They're not going to believe these people have done the things they've done. They're not going to believe it. It's hard for me to believe, and I found out over 10 years ago. That's why I've been speaking out of it for 10 years. That's why I look like this. See this? All them wrinkles. Look, cholesterol pockets. I don't, I've never had anything wrong with my cholesterol, but yet I have cholesterol pockets above my eyes. If you ask me, I think that's like black magic and shit. My hair is fucking falling out, getting thin, and receding and falling out, and gray as fuck. So I got battle wounds. Yes, I do. Teeth falling out from, not from drugs. None of that shit. It's because of the direct energy weapons that they shoot at you through your phones and, and your TVs and the cell towers and put the chemtrails in the fucking sky, choke you out and give you COPD and, you know, it, the shit in the water. You know, Flint, Michigan is not the only place that the water's contaminated. Every fucking where the water's contaminated. They say fluoride ain't good for you. Well, why they put fluoride in the water? Why they put fluoride in toothpaste when it rots your fucking teeth? That's what I'm saying. They fucking give you toothpaste so you brush your teeth with it every fucking day so you rot your teeth out so you can go to the fucking dentist and give him all your fucking money because they're more fucking expensive than buying a fucking car to get a fucking tooth pulled. See what I'm saying? Trip to the emergency room. Fucking $3,000. All I did was give you some antibiotics and a Band-Aid. That Band-Aid was 14 bucks <laughs> for that one Band-Aid. Two fucking Tylenols. $28. And I shit you not. When I had my last daughter, or when I had my last child, my son, uh, I got two Aleve or Advil or something, and it was $28 for those two. Yes, it was on the paperwork. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they charge you for everything now. The, the, your, 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 your afterbirth bed pads and, <laughs> and everything. Anything to make a penny. I mean, they're sitting over there with billions and billions of dollars that belong to us. And they're out there eating filet mignon and, and little kids. Sick fucks. I'm so glad this shit's happening. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, galactic family, spirit, guides, ancestors, archangels. You guys are the bestest. All right, folks. I love you guys. If I find anything else out or hear anything else, I will uh, try to get back on here so I can get myself more used to this. So I won't be such a chicken shit. <laughs> and I, who knows if this one. I've deleted the first two I've done. So who knows if this one will make it on or not. If it does. <laughs> I guess you'll be the lucky one. <laughs> if you watch it. It don't make me a fuck if you watch it or not. Um, Especially if you're a family or a foe. 
Watch the motherfucker if you want to. All y'all motherfuckers are going down for what you done to me. What you done to my kids. What you done to other family members. Poisoning motherfuckers so you can get the measly little 20, 30 grand inheritance. Killing motherfuckers to get 400, what, my dad had 460 bucks in his bank account. Was it really worth it? Was it really worth it? That's all the man had. And you chose to take him out. I know why it was. You took him out. Because you wanted to get to John's fucking pocket boots. And daddy was in the way. You couldn't go in there and do your little sex demonic acts and stuff to, to get him to do your little rituals and shit. So, but you know what? I don't believe that man ever turned power of attorney over to you. I believe there's stuff on that wheel for me and my children. I think one of my children got it. The other one got fucking video game. Woohoo. I'm sure he's I'm sure he got other money spent on him when he was around the person who stole the fucking money. But uh he won't be around her no more very soon. Facts. And I ain't taking him to no jail cell to visit. And don't be calling my motherfucking phone. Period. Don't call me for a motherfucking thing. And to the other sister, I know you a thieving ass bitch too. And remember when I didn't have a place to live? And it was cold outside? And I needed somewhere to sleep for the night because it was fucking cold? Remember that? And you wouldn't even reply? And then the next day pop some shit off on your Facebook all nasty and shit? Karma's a bitch, ain't it? You're going to know exactly how it feels to be sleeping in a car in the freezing cold. And you're going to know exactly how it feels to get them metal bars or them doors slammed on your ass after you walk in it. You're going to know exactly what it's like not to have no sweets. You better have somebody putting some money on your shit if you want a Twinkie or a cupcake or a Snicker. Or some lemonade or something. Because if not, you drinking toilet water. You drinking the tank of the toilet for your water. While you sit your ass on the bottom. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you eating bologna sandwiches with white powdery stuff on them. I think it's called saltpeter or something like that. It's like, just calm you down or something. Probably something to erase your fucking memory. It's like everything else in this fucking world. So, I think that was a message for somebody. Be careful when you open your mail and stuff for some white powder. Alright, y'all. I love you. Hope somebody gets this message and I hope... I hope somebody gets the, me <laughs> the messages. If not, then I did what I'm supposed to do. Peace out.